All right, so we've got this fraction times this fraction divided by this one. Um, one thing we can do to start out with is we can um, we can turn this division in into a multiply. So we can write 20 over 72 times 42 over 18. And then when we divide by a fraction, how do you turn that into multiplying? Yeah, so we can multi to divide we divide by a fraction the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Right. And the reason for that is if you had um, 10, which is 10 over 1, divided by 2, which is 2 over 1, 10 divided by 2 is what? 5. And that's the same thing as 10 over 1 times 1 over 2, times a half, isn't it? What's 10 times a half? Yep, 10 times a half, 10 halves is 5, isn't it? Or a half of 10, what's a half of 10? Five. five. So isn't 10 halves 5 though? Two. 10 halves is 5, isn't it? So like, here's 5 pizzas, right? Split them all in half, how many halves have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is ten halves the same thing? Is ten halves is equal to five, isn't it? Yes. Ten half pizzas makes five whole pizzas, right? Doesn't it? So ten times a half is the same thing as ten divided by two, isn't it? So this is just ten divided by two. Does that make sense? Ten divided by two is five, right? 10 times a half is 5, isn't it? So dividing, when you divide, when you divide, you flip, you multiply by the reciprocal. Don't you? Does that make sense in this example that we dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by a half, isn't it? Right, cool. So same thing, so dividing by 2016, same thing as multiplying by 16 twentieths. So now that we have them all lined up as multiplications, we can cross cancel common factors. What numbers would cross cancel nice and easy with? What do you want to start with by cross canceling? So in other words, what you don't do is go 20 times 42 is, um, if I did that, it would probably be 840 and then times that by 16 to get some big long number, right? I don't do that because it's a lot of work and you should be cross canceling common factors. So what numbers would cross cancel easily here? With what? Okay, what goes into 16 and 72? Two. two, yeah. Uh, just for fun, does eight go into both of those? Well, we can do two, because two into that goes eight times, right? And two into seven goes three times remainder one, two into 12 goes six times. Okay with that? Cool. So what else can we cross cancel? Yep. How about just for fun, did you notice there's a 20 on the top and a 20 on the bottom? Do we just cross those off? Like, can't we just cross these off? Yeah. Right, so that would be, that would get us there faster, right? 20 to 20 goes once here and here, right? Good. All right. All right, so now keep going. What else we got? Okay, and you can do two two into eighteen, two into forty two. Is that what you're doing? Or or what did you wanna what did you wanna divide into each of these? eighteen it goes into eighteen 
Okay. No, no, it's not, no. No. Well, what about your six, think about your six ta times tables. Six into 18, six into 42. Or I could just do two into each of them and make it just a little bit easier, you know. Yeah, two into eighteen nine times, yeah, and two into forty two. Yeah, so two into four goes twice, two into two goes once, so twenty one, yep. Well, you can still you can still cross cancel. I mean, this eight is an even number, so is the thirty six. Does something go into nine and twenty one? Yeah. So keep keep cross canceling. In fact, if you want, just for fun, let's write let's write it out like this: one times twenty one times eight. Just go twenty one times eight on the top. And on the bottom, just write 36 times 9, right? So we're down to there, aren't we? But you can keep cross-canceling, right? Like 8 and 36 are even numbers, so you know that 2 goes into each of these, right? So what can we, what can we do now? Two into eight goes what? Good. Two into thirty-six. Do this. Two into three goes how many times? One. Write one there. Did you do that? Yep. What's the remainder? One. Put the one beside the six and call that sixteen. And now do two into sixteen. Eight. Yeah. So eighteen. See that? Okay, so what else can you cross cancel? Nine and eighteen. There are nine and eighteen are on the both on the bottom. So you can't cross cancel numbers on the bottom with each other, right? So you can only cross cancel numbers on the bottom with numbers on the top, right? So I'll try again. Good. So two into four goes two into eighteen. Yeah. Now what else? Think about multiples of three. Does three go into something on the top and the bottom? Good. Twenty to nine three times. Good. Seven. Lovely. Good. So now we end up with a seven times two on the top and a nine times three in the bottom, right? So is there anything else that can be cross cancelled with the top and the bottom? No. Correct. So just multiply them. So fourteen over. Perfect. Yep.